fun to do bad things and drive into a car. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the GS. Um, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I haven't seen a how-to video on it, so I thought I'd share with you guys how to replace a fender on the GS300. And then we're gonna do a little bit of um, mods to get ready for the manual slop. We should be doing it in about two weeks, two or three weeks, the day after Christmas, we're gonna start on it. So we got everything there. Um, I'm just gonna focus on the IS300 because we're gonna go winter jam. And once that's over, uh, all the tension is going to go to the GS, so, um, but right now, let's change the fender. All right, so the GS300 fender has this weird, like, I don't know, I feel like they put tape and they painted the whole thing. Doesn't feel like a primer, maybe it is a primer, but they, this bumper is the same material and it looks weird. And you can see it's dented in right there, which causes the car to rub when I turn. So we got the new fender in the corner that we got from the pick and pull. Black Friday sale right here. It's silver, but it'll do just fine. So uh, it's pretty simple, but we may need to take off the front bumper. I need to check, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna take off this fender liner right here. Um, there's a bunch of bolts everywhere. There's one right there, one right here. Um, you can see where the holes are. This one's missing a bunch just because this fender bumper has been repaired or replaced. But yeah, move it out of the way. Keep pulling off, keep taking out all the screws and clips and you can take out the, the liner. All right, there's a bolt down here. There's more screws on this side right here that you wanna take out because this panel is part, it's a, it's almost a little panel right here. And then you're gonna remove the side skirt, but we're still trying to take all this out. So keep following it. Even all the way in the bottom, there's a clip right there. And you should be able to pull that panel out. And then you can take off this clip right here. It's just all, little pop-in clip, so just be careful, not try not to break any clips. Use a flathead, use a tool. I'm gonna use two hands. I pull up the fender liner and one bolt holding right there, so I gotta take that out. Um, since this car is lowered, I'm only gonna reuse half the fender liner to cover the, what is this? The headlight area and go to the bottom. I'm gonna take all this out because um, we're gonna be kind of low and we don't wanna rub into the fender liner, so. And we're gonna roll the fenders too. Uh, the new ones so this is mostly gonna go but if you want to reuse it take it out nicely next is this nut holding the fenders right here to the bumper one right there one oh, you can see it kind of right there take those two out and the rest will should be pretty easy so long extensions and you can reach them both now that this part's out the rest is one two three and then there's one over the door rain today so kind of annoying should be one in the door somewhere all the way up there and then one it should be one right here and then one right behind this I gotta figure out how to get to the side skirt so let me figure that out okay, so I took out the, the screws here holding the side skirt is one two three um, you could take out more of them but I think this is just enough room for me to put a socket in here because there's one more bolt you can see it right there that i need to get out but i should be able to get a socket in there pretty easily also a bolt right there so there's two at the bottom one right here one right there and deep in there to remove the headlight there's a bolt right there and a bolt right here and now that you have a little more room you can pull it back the bumper um if you're doing both sides you can take out the whole bumper the process is the same for this side and that side and then all the clips underneath but I'm just doing this side. So I'm trying to be as like, take as little things out as possible. There's a bolt right there. All right, now that you have the headlight kind of out of the way, there's two bolts that you can probably can't see, but they're right here. One right here and one right there. Get those out and it should pop out. There's actually one more bolt hiding right there, right behind the headlight. So let's get that out. All right, new fender. Not mounted on, but it's in place. Now what you're gonna do is, or what I'm gonna do, doesn't matter how you guys do it, but the way I'm gonna do it is make my way from this side 
to that side. So I'll probably start down here, up there, make my way to the top, side right here, and then that should be last. So let's go. All right, I got all the bolts lined up. Make sure when you tie the top bolts in, you push the fender in and then tie it down until it lines up with the car. Got the headlight bolted back in. And all I gotta do left now is mount the fender liner back in and everything should be ready to go. Uh, yeah, it's not like the coolest thing, you know, how I mismatch fenders, but it's better than having a bent fender that's rubbing inside my wheel. So that's that. And it's gonna be a drift car kinda. So kind of fits the theme. So you see the fender liner, you see how it's like in two pieces. You can see how it has like these clips right here. I'm actually gonna pop those off and I'm only gonna use the bottom part to protect the wires from the bottom right there. The rest don't really need it. So um, I think we can just like pop those out. Maybe break the clips, we'll see. All right, I got them separated. I just cut the clips in the back and then popped out. So won't need this part right now. You can save it for later, I'll remount it, but for me, I'm only gonna mount it to right there. I'm only gonna mount it to like right there to cover everything and everything else should be good because I'm gonna, you know, be low, start rubbing on stuff. So this should be just fine. I got that fender liner mounted up. It's mostly covering everything, especially covering the bottom from water getting in. You know, little area right here, but you know, not too much water is gonna get through there. The rest is fine. And now we're gonna do the other side, but you don't, you wanna see me do that. So yeah, just how you install a fender. And if you want how to take out a fender liner and cut it, not really cut it, just split it so you can roll your fenders. All right, so that's how you replace a fender on a GS300. I wasn't gonna make this video, but it's a super simple install and I haven't seen any video on how to replace specifically the fender. I've seen the bumper, but uh, the fender is something I haven't seen yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.